Hello, boy people. Again, going straight into the next video. Um, probably all of these will be uploaded on the same day. Um, now, this is a little advanced, as are the other things that I've presented today. Um, but I really enjoyed this form. It, as I said in the last video, it's going to be a variation of a flower. Um, I've never seen anyone do it. I've never, you know, heard a name for it. The closest I could think of about this um, that I've seen is Alien John and his um, anti-spin fountains. Um, they were a real treat to watch every time I see them. And I just cannot comprehend what the hell he's doing in them for the life of me. Uh, hopefully I will soon, but, you know, nine months of spinning poi, got a lot of work to do in general. Anyway, this form basically requires that you know how to do this, the isolation, which I honestly don't think I actually got down nearly well enough until probably last month. It took me eight months of learning it. And, let's see. Obviously, from there, you also need anti-spin flowers going in the same direction. Um, this is one of those techniques where you're basically going to be going here, you know, except at the same time as that, you're going to be isolating as you go around, um, which looks ridiculous, honestly. But once you get the poi in there, um, it actually starts to look pretty nice. So, I just thought of this today, like I said. So, I need some work on it, obviously. So, what you end up doing, though. Um, everyone who does isolations does them a little bit differently. Um, for me, the most comfortable position is with my left hand in front, my right hand slightly behind it, and the right poi spinning behind the left poi. Alternately, you can do it with the right hand in front, which honestly would probably work a little easier, but it's not comfortable for me at all. Um, as well as spinning in the opposite direction, doing the same thing, right? It's probably best to be comfortable with all forms of that, so you can add some variation to this technique, but it's not absolutely required right at the beginning. Um, as with everything, drill, drill, drill. It doesn't matter what you're doing, what you're learning. It could be something as simple as the two-beat weave. Drill it, you know? It could be something like as hard as the crossers. Drill it. Um, isolations are probably one of those things that um, you'll do these for months and months and months and you'll never get it and then something's going to click inside of your body and it'll be, you know, you looking in a mirror and bam, you're doing it out of nowhere at all. So, um... Here's what you do for this technique. You spin in isolation, and then with the one that's in the back here, um, I would do it in this direction. Basically, it's the one that's on, you're spinning clock, or counterclockwise like this. It's the one that's closest to the outside of the direction that it's spinning. So for me, it's going to be my right hand. You start here, spinning like this and your right hand goes from here to here doing the isolation and then from here to up doing the isolation right and your other hand follows it in a split time so you stay in this split time form here starting here that's what it's going to look like and the sheer insane amount of muscle memory that I'm sure this is taking, um, I can't even fathom because I've drilled flowers and isolations for um, probably three months straight now on top of stalls, which I still feel that I need to clean up a little bit. Anyway, I'll go through that again. Basically, you start in an isolation about hip level. From there, you take your leading hand um, and go from here to your first quadrant, right? And then from there to 
to your second quadrant, wow, that screwed up, from your second quadrant to your third quadrant, and then back to the beginning, which is about hip level. And then you loop it, which is extremely hard. I'm going to need to work on a lot of muscle memory. Um, again, I've never seen someone do it. I just thought of it today and realized, wow, that would look awesome. Um, if you have seen someone do it, um, I'm calling it at this point an isolated flower. Um, simple. I don't like names getting in the way of everything. Um, if you've seen someone do it, you know a name for it, um, you have any information regarding it, video responses are always welcome. Um, and if you learned anything, I'm glad to have helped. Uh, I will see you again for the next installment. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do yet. Uh, probably working on the three-beat anti-spin fountain. Um, who knows? I could also probably teach a little bit about tosses, um, even though that's really basic knowledge on my end, as is most of the stuff I know. So we'll see where it takes us, and until next time, see you soon.